Hello, esteemed viewers, and welcome to Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Water Planet is an organization in Panama City, Florida, USA, whose swim programs help people connect with dolphins through interactive experiences. As part of each program, the Water Planet staff give participants extensive information about these amazing marine mammal friends and emphasize the need to protect and preserve them. Dennis Richard is the president of Water Planet and has years of experience in marine environments. For children with special needs, Water Planet offers the Serenity and Harmony programs, which use dolphin encounters as tools for healing. The youngsters may have autism or other cognitive or emotional issues or physical disabilities. These programs also offer art and music therapy, warm water hydrotherapy, and massage. The Serenity program emerged from a partnership with Pam and Tim Davidson, the founders of Excellence in Therapy, a practice in Roswell, Georgia, USA, that offers pediatric speech, occupational, and physical therapy services. Pam Davison has over 23 years of experience in the field of physical therapy, and Tim Davidson, her business partner and chief executive officer of Excellence in Therapy, will now further explain the genesis of their partnership with Water Planet. Twelve years ago, we were down in Panama City Beach on vacation, and Pam wanted to go do a dolphin encounter and we were introduced to Dennis Richards, and he started uh, showing us a video of him working with autistic children. And that led uh, us to come up with the Serenity Program to bring uh, special needs children uh, of all descriptions, all diagnoses, down to um, Panama City Beach, Florida, to experience dolphins in a wild environment. We've been doing this two or three times every summer for the last 11 years. Pam Davidson recalls swimming in the warm ocean off of Florida and meeting a dolphin through a Water Planet program. Denise encouraged me to get in the water, and so I jumped in, and I looked, and here came out, out of this cloud this dolphin coming at me, and it was so big, it just took my breath away, and I was so excited, and then I came up out of the water, it was like, oh, there it is, and he goes, yeah, he's wanting to play with you, and the dolphin actually stayed right there with me. And then he took off, and I was like, where'd he go, where'd he go? You know, and there was actually several encounters that day. After this trip, the Davidsons, in conjunction with Water Planet, developed a program through which they offer a similar experience for their patients. Tim Davidson explains how exciting the Serenity program has been for many children with special needs and their families. there have been countless uh, memories. The parents tell us is it's just nice to come down to a program where there are so many people who are wanting to work with their child or their children. We've had some families who've had multiple special needs children. And what we found is that most people in their life will never have a dolphin encounter of any description. But for a child who has cerebral palsy or Down syndrome, to have it out in the wild, out in the water, to have a true encounter is just something you're always going to remember. And it's touched us in ways that it's hard to describe, but to see the children have fun, see the parents relax, and have the encounters and the therapies. And we've had reports back of children making leaps in their progress towards their goals of, 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 of trying to be as independent as possible. So it's been very yeah, heartwarming. Had... Pam Davidson explains why the Serenity Program experience is so powerful for the children. We've had a lot of um, very unique experiences 
because of the energies and the efforts of all the people when we come together and of the whole week experience, including the dolphins, including the therapists, including all the people from other countries. It's a very, very unique, encompassing experience and it, it can't help but change someone's life just having experienced that. Pam now explains why interactions with our animal co-inhabitants can help to change lives. So one of the things I always like to talk about is a term called biophilia, and it means that you have a connection to another living thing. People feel it with horses and dogs, and certainly we feel it with the dolphins. But there's a certain thing that happens when two living things start to interact and usually it's a very positive thing that that will enhance both of their lives. We build our program on that basis that the experience alone of having that connection with another animal, another person, another place that that you come away with with an enhanced life. After these messages, we'll hear about remarkable transformations that have occurred in children with special needs after meeting dolphins. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. I say that families come here as strangers and they leave as friends. It's a life-altering experience. Welcome back to Animal World, our co-inhabitants, as we continue our interview with Pam and Tim Davidson, partners with Water Planet of Panama City, Florida, USA, in the Serenity Program, which offers physical and other forms of therapy to special needs children. The cornerstone of the program is a chance for youngsters to visit with dolphins in the ocean. Pam Davidson is a physical therapist, and Tim Davidson is her business partner and chief executive officer of Excellence in Therapy, a facility in Roswell, Georgia, USA, that provides child therapy services. Pam now describes some of the remarkable changes she has seen in children after encounters with dolphins. We've had um, one young lady, um, when she first came, uh, she knew five signs and used five signs with her family. And within a week's time, she actually made up five more signs while she was here with us. Starfish and dolphin and and she started to use those signs on a regular basis. So she doubled her vocabulary, her signing vocabulary in one week's time. We've had others who have um, increased their spoken vocabulary. Um, we've also had um, several parents who've come back and said that socially they've made a lot of changes. Many of the transformations experienced by these youngsters are profound and long-lasting. One mom reported back that, that the special child after the dolphin trip requested music to go to sleep. And there's others that have called and said that um, afterwards their teachers, when they meet them in the fall again, they'll sit there and say, oh my gracious, they have changed so much. They're often calmer. They're more accepting of change, accepting of crazy schedules that we have and the fun things that we do and the music and the art and the dolphins and the therapies and the go, go, go. And they go back home and they're just a changed person. And usually their teachers can tell.
the opportunity to facilitate the youngsters' therapeutic interactions with the dolphins inspires university students and professionals from around the world to volunteer with the Serenity Program. We have interns from other parts of the world and uh, different dialects, um, different cultures. They all kind of merge here with one purpose to work with children of, with special needs. And the child can be from a totally different culture. They might not be able to communicate at all, but communication happens. It happens through action. It happens through gesture and it happens through working with them. And to ask a child to come down to a strange place, have a bunch of strangers, work with them for a week. I mean, without a lot of warm up. We're not sitting around talking with them for days on end. It's kind of go, 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 go. And to ask anybody to do that is hard, but to ask a special needs child who can't communicate in a lot of instances um, to do that is asking a lot, but it happens because the people here, they're here because they want to be. They want to do this. In the Serenity Program, parents and siblings of special needs children are encouraged to join in the Dauphin Adventure. In our 20 plus years of working with families with special needs children, everybody thinks they're alone and they're on their own little island and nobody understands and they have no way of communicating. And for that brief moment, they realize that there's families from all over that are feeling the same thing. And the magic or the idea of the dolphins and the encounter is what gets them to make that step to say, well, let's, let's try it. Tim Davidson believes that dolphins have a unique mission here on Earth in relation to humanity. I always say about the dolphins, I think they're waiting for us to be able to communicate with them, and then they'll be able to tell us the meaning of life. But until then, they're willing to interact with us and help us on this journey, whatever it is. But of the smarter of the species, I think we're coming in second. Because they, I believe, I truly believe, are here to help us, not vice versa. Pam Davidson attributes much of the success of their program to the dolphins themselves. The dolphins facilitate it and are definitely a magical part of what we do. Tim Davidson wishes to share some final thoughts with our viewers about our responsibilities as human beings to the biosphere. We have to share the resources with uh, nature and we have to make sure that uh, the animals in the wild have their place to be in the wild and we have to interact and we have to do it on their terms. We are the stewards of the environment we have to manage that, protect it, and try not to eradicate it, but interface with it. And it, at times, is, is difficult, and I think we're making better progress. We have a better understanding, and the dolphins are there to uh, show us the way. Many thanks, Pam and Tim Davidson, and the staff at Water Planet for helping to make these healing experiences with dolphins possible, thus changing the lives of many youngsters. We also salute the dolphins, who lovingly assist the special young ones to improve in their ability to function independently. Thank you, friendly viewers, for joining us today on Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants, here on Supreme Master Television. Next up is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May all beings work together in cooperation and harmony to elevate our planet.
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.